Hi everyone, Viridian Art here. We are going to make a turkey. So I have a few supplies. I need a pencil and eraser, paper, and something to add color with. I'm gonna be using watercolor for the background and some fun colors in acrylic paint, but you can use crayons, pastels, any type of paint, all of that will work. Let's get started on our turkey. So let's start right in the middle of your paper with a nice big round circle, probably about the size of an orange. I'm going really, really lightly until I have a circle that's right about middle on all sides. And then you can darken it up. And I'm going to make another circle that's half in and half out. This is going to be for my turkey's head. Once you have that, erase inside of that new circle. We are going to make the turkey's neck. So this neck should be skinnier than the head shape and it should come to about middle of your big circle. So now we have the head, the neck, and the body. I'm going to erase this part of my circle that's touching my neck. Let's add in a beak. So right in the center of the head, I'm gonna do a slight arch and a little triangle shape that points down from there. And I can give my turkey some eyes. And I'm gonna give him the little red flap that hangs down from the top of the beak. So it's just a little curved shape hanging over. Let's add in some turkey legs. So I'm just gonna do two lines straight down from about middle of my circle and two little lines, little toes that stick out from the leg. Notice it's kind of like a little V shape and one little line that goes back. Same thing on the other side, this little V shape and one line that goes back. So now he has legs and we're gonna start on the feathers of the turkey. So starting right on his head, this feather is going to be the feather that comes from behind him on his body. And I'm just going to continue those shapes from that center one. So these are pretty big feathers. And it's up to you how many feathers you want to add into your turkey. But keep in mind, every feather you add, we will need to color it in. So if you have a whole bunch, it's gonna take quite a while to fill in all the feathers. You can add some feathers behind these. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to outline all of my drawing. Now that I have this all outlined, I'm gonna fill in my turkey eyes. I'm going to make some lines on my turkey feathers. 
So I'm making these little V shapes that go all the way down. Each section will be a color. So we don't want our lines too close together so we can fill them in. And probably about the same amount on every feather. So I have one, two, three, four lines. And if on the back ones you don't quite fit four lines or however many lines you choose, that's okay. The back ones can be a little bit less than the front ones if you'd like. I'm going to start filling in my turkey with my acrylic paints. Remember, you can use anything that you have to add color. So I'm going to start on my turkey's face. I'm going to start with some yellow right about center of the face. I'm staying just inside that circle of the head. And then I'm going to get a little bit of orange and mix that in. So I want it to go from yellow to my orange and I'm going to go into my red. This is just one way that you can fill this in. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You're welcome to choose your own colors and your own pattern. I'm just making my colors fade from light too dark with my yellow, orange, and red. And I'm going to go down the neck and in the center of the neck. I'm going to use a little bit of orange and the same little bit of yellow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the body. So I'm just wiping off my brush because I'm going to start with yellow again. And I'm going to get yellow in the middle of my circle body. Where it's touching the neck here, I'm going to get a little bit of orange and make my yellow and orange just mix together so it doesn't look like the head is separate from the body. And I'm gonna take my orange and mix it in, and it's following that circle shape of the body. I want my yellow and orange to gently mix together where they're touching. And if you're using crayons or watercolor, you can do the same thing. So with watercolor, you'll follow the same things that I'm doing with crayon or color pencil or pastel. You're just going to layer your colors really carefully as you start switching your colors. So you would layer a little bit of your red into your orange and a little bit of orange into your yellow. So now my turkey's body is done and I'm going to start filling in my feathers. So each section is going to be a different color and I'm going to follow the same pattern on each feather. You can do them in any order that you'd like. And if you want to do all of the yellow the same on each feather, you can, and then switch to a different color. I'm going to do a few feathers, just going from one color to the other to show you what the feathers will look like, and then I'll quickly fill in all the rest of them. 
And again, use any colors that you'd like. Once all the feathers are done, you can do the beak. I'm going to do a blue beak, but you can choose any color. And clean and dry your brush. And the little red flap that hangs down. When that's done, you can add any background that you'd like. I'm going to use some watercolor and I'm going to fill in my whole background just solid, but if you want to make the ground and a sky, you can do that. So I'm going to switch to just a little bit bigger brush for my watercolor. And I think I'm going to do just a blue background. So I'm getting lots of water mixing in my paint really, really well, and start filling in the background. And that's it for our turkey. I hope everyone had fun with this one.